What's going on YouTube? Effect Records here. Today, I'm bringing you a video of my 03 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo conversion build. Alright guys, so I went ahead and cut out the entire subframe and kind of test fitted the Evo uh, 8 uh, rear subframe. So I basically cut it all the way up towards flush up against this frame rail right here. That's how high I went up, I didn't cut anything extra. Um, so the plan for this is trying to get it kind of lined up and then maybe get a second jack up and raise the diff. 
so that way I can kind of compare on where the diff would sit with everything. Um, this isn't exactly where the subframe is going to sit on the rear. I just got to figure that out. And then I have some heavy like 10 gauge or something. I know some heavy gauge steel that I bought a long time ago for, for this exact reason. Uh, I want to say it's 10 gauge that I'm going to use for the mounts. That'll probably, you know, weld here and make like a plate on both sides as well as the center piece for the uh, center, if you guys can see that. Um, and then, you know, uh, probably drill out the hole that's big enough for the bolt and then weld a nut on the other side. So that way, you know, you can unbolt it basically and there's no nut on the other side because it's welded to the actual steel plate. So it's kind of how I plan on doing the fitment, like once it's up there, um, just by using that plate and then welding that onto the other side. So what I did so far on the subframe is I made some test pieces for the mounts. So these are bolts that go right through on all three sides. Um, so the way this is going to work is if I take the bolts out. Uh, that's basically a template is what I basically made. So this can flip and just flip it and it fits right there. So um, basically just make one and then it's flippable on the other side. And how I made this is I basically, uh, I think I used it on this side. And I put, uh, I basically laid it to make the template and then I took a Sharpie. Uh, where's the Sharpie at? I think it's right there. There we go. Um, basically took the cap off the Sharpie, took this and right in here, it basically fits all the way through. And uh, that's how I marked the holes. So I did these two first, marked them, went ahead and drilled them, put the bolts through. So then I sat like this. And right. So I sat it kind of like that. And then I had to hold this up and to mark the third one. And then I went ahead and drilled that one. So that's how I made my template for it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this out of uh, like 10 gauge steel, I believe is what the gauge is. I know some thick steel. I'm basically just gonna start out with a square piece. Um, this is just some extra that I had lying around. Um, this is 20, 20 gauge or 22 gauge. Uh, so it's a lot thinner, but uh, this is just to make my template, just because so, I had extra metal anyway. And then I'm just gonna make a square piece that I can you know, basically cut to fit once it's ready to go, but I want it to be square and flush to look professional and look nice. And then I also made this one as well. Uh, so I basically did the same thing, just stuck a Sharpie through. Um, I basically just held it up against here, um, trying to make sure it's flush and then put two Sharpie marks on it for the center of the mounts that I gotta make. And uh, yeah, so I also got, because these are a different size, so like this one back here is raised higher. I bought some nuts um, that I gotta go out to the car to get real quick. Um, and basically I'm gonna drill the nuts out, make them hollow for spacers, and then I'm gonna weld them onto the flange when I cut it out of the actual stuff, weld it on. So that way, uh, let's see if I can set it up here. So that way, when I put it on like that, you know, it's gonna be like that. So it's gonna give me like a little spacer um, to it. And then I plan on, uh, it's actually going to be attached like this. Like when you put it in the car, it's gonna bolt up like that and then take these bolts out. So on this side of the flange, I'm going to weld on some actual nuts that fit this. So like these will get welded like that on all sides. So that way when it's, you know, up in the car, uh, that's how it's gonna be threaded in. It's gonna be threaded through that, and then through these nuts, which will tighten it down. And then on the other side will be the spacers, so it'll sit there nice and it's flush. So that's kind of the plan for how I'm gonna get the subframe in the car right there. Um, so I'm gonna probably do that real quick, actually. <laughs>
I went ahead and uh, cut out uh, one of these for the mounts and then two of these for each side. So like I said, um, it's not gonna be perfect right now because I gotta cut it to fit kind of thing once it's actually around the vehicle and then I know where to cut so I can make sure I have more than less kind of thing. So um, for this, I'm probably just gonna line the bolt holes up on this flat edge, kind of like that, mark my holes and go ahead and drill that out. And for these, I basically just want to try to make it as uh, straight as possible and in the middle. So it's, you know, the closest um, from any angle. Um, so any adjustments that might need to be made, I had that material um, to do it. So that's kind of the plan. And if you see the thickness, I don't know if you can see it really well, but that's the thickness of the uh, metal that I'm using versus the thickness of the metal that I am that I use as a test piece kind of thing just to make my holes. So that's kind of, it's definitely thicker than it was. So that's kind of the plan for that. Alright guys, so I went ahead and made my mounts for the subframe. I made both of them. I basically made one of these and made sure it fit and then I basically copied that pattern onto the new one, which is right there. That's the one I just cut. So I try to keep it as straight, but I'm probably going to have to cut some away so it's not like a huge deal. And then this one uh, fits right like that. Uh, so if I you know, take these out of here and put them in this one. So just like that, oops, and then the other one fell off. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's basically how it works is it all fits um, nicely, um, both of them. No really struggle there. And this one fits nice except for the corners. So I can basically just round off the corners a little bit and that'll sit there nicely as well. And I try to do it you know, in the center um, as possible. And then I'm basically gonna make some extra uh, supports um, that comes outwards. Uh, you'll probably see that in a later video. Um, that attaches to the bottom of the vehicle for the middle support. So that's kind of how this looks. I think one of the next things I'm going to do is probably put this in the car and kind of see where it's at. Alright guys, so what I basically got done over the week is I removed the rear subframe from the car. So I cut that completely out and I try to make it flush up against this frame rail right there. Um, and now I mocked up the Evo rear subframe on where it's kind of going to bolt to just sitting on some wood not perfect or anything It's just chilling um, just to kind of give me an idea I was gonna look into that tomorrow because I was calling it quits for tonight So I can go ahead and edit the video and stuff. So that's kind of my plan. I also got the rear diff Just sitting in front of it. Just kind of give me kind of an idea But that's gonna sit like past the wood area right there So I think that's kind of like center um, so that's kind of where it's sitting right now. I'm also looking at reference pictures of how an Evo looks um, and spacing wise under the car. Uh, got the drive shaft just sitting in the middle of the car underneath of it. Uh, one thing that I noticed though is the splines seem to be different from the end of the drive shaft to the transfer case. Because uh, the engine and transmission came out of a Mitsubishi Airtrek 4G63T not out of an Evo because I wanted to keep this automatic just because. Um, so I got to look into that. I tried to put it in and it seemed like it was um, not going in, like the splines were different, but I'm still gonna you know, look into that. So it's kind of one of the problems that I see 
maybe I can get the, you know, the different end piece with different splines or something, make something work. Otherwise I would, you know, probably put it in just to kind of mock it up or something. Or, uh, yeah, um, cause I can't really mock it up too much until the engine is fully in with all the engine mounts in and stuff. But, um, that's kind of what I got over the weekend. I was basically just messing around with that. As soon as I buy a inline air sander, that's when I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, try to work on this body again and try to get that looking nice. But I got to get one of those. The school had one. I don't have one. So they're about a hundred dollars on Harbor Freight right now. I looked into them. So I plan on getting one of those here soon. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for what I was really working on. It's mainly just subframe stuff and getting that out of there so that way I can start kind of mocking it up for real drive because I wanted to get the subframe out of there so there's like no going back kind of thing. So it's like, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely no going back at this point. Like it's gonna be all wheel drive, so pretty excited. Uh, still nervous because I still got a lot to do. I made my engine mounts right down there and uh yeah i think they came out pretty good the metal's pretty thick so i think i have kind of an idea on how i want to go about it so you know everything's looking up but that's basically this video i also mocked up the evo spoiler on the back i mean it fits the trunk perfectly like the bolt holes lined up awesome so uh this isn't the one i'm going to get though this is like one of those cheap ones um so it's like cracking stuff because originally i bought the cheap one uh, so I'm gonna get like an actual OEM style, uh, either an OEM style or I'm going to get, uh, like an aftermarket big carbon fiber one. I'm not really sure yet. If you guys have an idea, let me know. And the trunk is not bolted on correctly either. It's just sitting in there with uh, two bolts. So it's not aligned. So that's why it looks all fucky right now. But yeah, um, that's basically this video. Um, for what I did last week. If you like it, please comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't already, because I definitely need some support. Um, keep me motivated, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'll catch you guys next week. All right, peace.